So we've got uh, Faye from the Conformance Lab here in RS Components, and we're just going to talk a little bit through the functionality of this product. Um, but this is probably not the first time Faye's seen this because all of the RS Pro products, before they go on sale, get extensively tested. This one is rated uh, 1000 volts category 3, and obviously with the uh, product before it goes on sale, it's always inspected to IEC 1010 to make sure that it meets the requirements for global sale. Okay, so we're going to start using the meter now. So as you can see on the front, there's a range of options. You've got the different current options, the different voltage options, your uh, frequency, your ohms, your capacitor and your oscilloscope. You've got your hold, your min-max, your range and a lot of soft keys. So if we turn it on, you can see your nice RS Pro logo, and it takes you straight into your auto range. Um, your soft key will tell you which range it you've got so now it's swapped over to DC and you can see it auto ranging for you and very quick responsive time okay so we've just looked at the auto ranging on the voltage so now we're going to look at the current measurement so simple swap over So now you can see that it is measuring the uh, DC current. If we change that up, you can see again that it's ranging, auto ranging. From there, we can actually now look at a temperature measurement. So if we switch it off and swap out these for the temperature probe, stiff, and then switch it over to the temperature measurement. Move it to temperature, and there you go, you can see it's measuring the temperature. So just to show you a little bit about the oscilloscope function of the Metascope uh, HS608. So what we've done, we've connected to a basic uh, function generator, taken the lead into the uh, oscilloscope port, selected obviously the oscilloscope function. You can see quite quickly how well this meter actually shows the, the waveform, so it's a nice clear display. Currently what we're showing is 5 volts peak to peak across a 50 uh, hertz waveform. So if I use the function generator just to manipulate it a bit you'll see that there's some kind of response happens on the actual uh, meter scope itself. So let's just change the waveform. Okay, so I select that. I'll select a, a square wave and you can see how quickly it changed. Let's return a triangular wave and you can see how quickly that changes as well. So if I actually just change the frequency of the waveform on the function generator, you should see it pick up on the, the uh, meter scope as well. So I change frequency, and let's go to say 100 hertz. You can see that we can see double the waveform now. So basically all we've done is increase the, the waveform on here by double, and you can see 50 hertz here. So there are a few other things you can do on here. You can measure the noise, you can measure the harmonic rate as well. So you can look at the different harmonics within the waveform. So something quite detailed like that on a digital uh, multimeter, you can imagine where that's going to be used. So people within R&D to actually see what's happening in the waveform. Remember the main benefit of using a oscilloscope is you can actually see what's happening at the waveform when you're testing the product in situ. So rather than you know, just a basic what's the input output voltage, etc. You can actually see in great detail what's happening here. So, this makes a really good piece of uh, test equipment either for an industrial use or even somebody who's looking to maybe manufacture his own product.